Here we go. So we're going to have a short quiz. And the quiz is going to be to determine whether we are here, are kind of, <coughs> uh, have, have got the kind of ability to answer the question and what the purpose of education is. So I'd like to all uh, get your kind of like, right, you know, you, you're out of your box thinking. So the first question is really, really uh, an important one. Um, how do you put a giraffe into a refrigerator? So uh, ten, ten, 10 seconds, 10 seconds. 10 seconds, take your time, 10 seconds, take your time. Okay, shout out your answers. Freeze dried. Yeah, yeah, good. Made it out of Lego. Yeah, good one. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. Good answers, good answers, good answers. Uh, this, is the, uh, this is the answer. Just open the fridge and put the giraffe in. Um, and this question tests whether you kind of, uh, you tend to do uh, simple things in an overly complicated way. Um, and also, I'd, I'd like to draw some parallels, actually, because uh, <coughs> many of you have different answers to the question, um, what is the purpose of education? And, and I just think that we need to value all contributions. And uh, like Carrie Faisler said earlier in her presentation, that, that everybody's valuable, uh, every contribution is val valid. And I, and I would like to extend that to people who aren't in our community of interest, who, who aren't in education, uh, who work with education. I think we need to get opinions from people who are outside of education because they're just as valid because um, I think that it will make the debate stronger if we embrace all perspectives okay so let's start with this joined up thinking now next question <clears throat> how do you put an elephant into the refrigerator come on then what's the obvious thing <laughs> what? take the giraffe out do you know I think there's some people who've seen this before you're right <laughs> open the fridge <coughs> The wrong answer is obviously open the fridge and put the thing is. The right answer is open the refrigerator, take the giraffe out. Okay, uh, this tests your ability to think through the repercussions of your actions. So, uh, many of the purpose articles and blog posts, 500 words, talk about the future and also past experiences. And I feel strongly that as a reflective profession, we must learn from the mistakes that we've made in the past. I think a purpose for education has to be to prepare, <coughs> prepare our children uh, for a successful future. Okay, next question. Okay, so the Lion King <coughs> is having a animal conference and uh, all the animals attend except one. So, again, 10 seconds thinking time, which animal would, just, you know, it didn't turn up? <coughs> people, some people. My at Sherry. The sloth, the sloth, why, why the sloth? A slow, yeah, yeah. The elephant. the elephant because it's in the fridge, correct. I think there's some people who've seen this before. <laughs> yes, that's right. And this is because, and this question tests your memory. Um, oops, made a mistake there. That's right. Anyway, okay then. There's some clever people out there. There's some really clever people out there. Okay, let's go to the next question then. So, this, this, this basically what I'm saying now is obviously that some people have gotten questions right, but there's some questions that get it wrong. And I think that education is part of giving them opportunities, opportunities to, to, to fail um, and opportunities to have another go. So, here you go, I'll give you this one. So, there's a river you must cross, but it's inhabited by crocodiles. How do you get across? Good one, go find a bridge. Good question, good one. Yeah, yeah. Anybody else? No, no, nobody else, okay. Uh, well, basically, all the crocodiles are attending the animal conference. <laughs> so, so you can just swim across. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, basically, this test from learning from, from your mistakes. And, and I think that in your 500 words, uh, there was two, two things that stood out for me. And, and one was Ian Yorston's post about learning to fail and also... Um, Tom Barrett as well said about his, his, his son's own education that he said I want the education he encounters to be brave enough to let him fail and to support him if he does. The purpose of education I think is to allow students to make mistakes and I think that to try again and mould and also to try again and to, to, to for them to mould their own learning and I think that it, it's a journey for them and, and I think that that journey shouldn't just be a reflection of the person that stood in front of them. Okay. So, finally, I'd just like to say, before you go any further, that not just, just to kind of you know, make you feel a bit better, that the, 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 the survey, 90% of educators got, got these questions wrong. But in actual fact, they did the same test with infant children, and they actually got 
uh, the majority of them right. Um, and I'd just like to say that, that you know, it disproves the theory that, that most educators have the brains of six-year-olds. Um, but anyway, so I think you know, sometimes it's easy to forget to put ourselves in the role as, as the learner when, when talking about education. And I think the purpose of education, you know, I want us to remember uh, this, this that I'm going to end with, and it, and it is that you know, we're worried about uh, what a child will, will become tomorrow. Um, yeah, sometimes we forget that they're already somebody today. Thank you very much.